Now we're looking at supporting analysis with test protocols. Now the protocol that we're going to look at at the moment, hopefully that's clear enough for you, is kidney failure 4505. There are 61 test protocols, but we're just interested in this example. It's the same for all the examples as kidney failure. So we'll find it in the book. 4505 irritable bowels another one there so here we are 4505 kidney failure now you notice in the protocol it starts with analysis preparation and then it goes through all the potential causes of the condition you see, for example, which acupuncture channels relate to kidney failure? Or which parasites relate to kidney failure? Which bacteria? Nobody can know everything. Which vitamins are especially important? Calcium, vitamin D, that they're at correct levels. So there's three pages on the protocol of physiological things to check. Each is marked with five minute times, but it may take longer than that to harmonize. And then after the physical things, starting at 2066, bacterias and parasites or viruses related, all related to kidney failure. Once you've compiled a list of those that are recognised as disturbed frequencies, then you go ahead and treat them. How does it apply on the machine? Well, let's turn our machine on. Once the machine is turned on, we go into test mode. Now, initially, we probably test kidneys, 4410. Once we test that and find a disturbance, maybe on plus and minus as well, we know that there's a condition of the kidney probably formed. So 4505 is kidney failure. Now, whenever you get a protocol, if you can't remember if a condition has a protocol or not, the screen indicates it has. Whenever you see a 10 appear on the right hand side, you know there's a protocol. So to save you typing in all the protocol, you press the number 10. It's preloaded. Here, when you press 10, 4505 is kidney failure, to remind you. There's 57 frequencies in the protocol, you're starting on one. So you recall, kidney failure, the first one is all zeros, program one. The next one is program one, and then it's 0214, 0217, and so on. So all we have to do with the aerial is move across. We don't have to type the number in, it's preloaded. As soon as you pull the aerial back, the program will be saved. This is indicated by a tick on the right hand side of the screen. So when I pull the joystick back, notice the tick. That indicates you found a disturbance. If you go to plus and minus, the tick remains. But if I go back to neutral, the tick disappears. Now you've not saved it. Well, let's say we want to save program one, the next frequency in the book, swipe across, 0214 and the next frequency in the book 0217 plus and minus let's save it to the machine then 218 and you go through the whole protocol like that 0222 and you go through with your client and find all the disturbances so we're up to number 6 but you go can complete to 57. When you've finished all the disturbances you've saved to the machine, once you turn the machine off, they're lost. So you put your green card in, click, then you press PS10 to card. You notice it loads, take the card out. Now we need to turn the machine off. The frequencies we want are stored on the card. Every time you do that, you'll wipe the previous frequencies and replace it with the new ones. And to run it, as long as you're on the opening screen, just put the card in, click, 
When it says error, take the card out. And here's all the programs we saved on the memory card. Starting with program 1. When you want to move across, you go across. That was program 0217. Can you remember the next one we saved? 0218 and so on. And you go through all the ones you've saved until they can all harmonize on neutral. Once they've done that, the condition is harmonized. So hopefully that makes some sense and you apply that to every single condition in the protocol. So some of the common ones, most common ones are in here, but there's one for allergy complete, for example, high blood pressure, angina, kidney failure, kidney stones, irritable bowel syndrome, gout, osteoporosis, fibromyalgia, and so on. But you'll find that these are the most common. Autism is another one. Depression. Most common conditions. Now, every few years, this list increases a lot as they keep adding new protocols from the experts. But you'll find that useful to run that on the machine. Okay, that's enough for this protocol of this video. We hope you enjoy going through your protocols and becoming efficient at saving time by not typing in the frequencies, but allowing it to be preloaded.